What's your warranty on these trailers? So I tell anybody that I don't care if it's 10 years from now, you yeah. better call me. I'm your first call if you ever have a problem. What so. about a transfer of ownership, new owner? Yep, anybody can transfer over and I still take care of anybody. Great, well that's, so, that's, uh, yeah. that's pretty good. I'll yeah. tell you, it's hard to beat that. <laughs> I just had a customer come in, just bought a used trailer yesterday. She pulled a trailer in, it was a uh, trailer was nine years old. Rear tail light, right tail light, tail light wasn't working. We pulled it in here and the customer before her had messed around with the wiring and made his own seven pin and stuff. Yeah. We redid everything and put her out the door. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. That's, what we, that's what we want to hear. Yeah. Go into an Oasis unit and start out, it's a kind of your finish it yourself unit, but you can take it off and go camping right away with it. Um, you're talking, right, you know, roughly about $5,000. I'm the president. I'm Todd Maurer, yeah. How long have you been in business? Uh, 16 years now. How many trailers have you built? A lot. <laughs> Hundreds? We, we do, yeah, you know, thousands. Thousands? Um, yeah. We do 150 trailers a year, so, you know, okay. probably a couple thousand trailers. And... Well, like 10 a month, well, you know, 10, 12 a month, right? 10, 12 a month. And uh, I see you got a huge parts depot here. Yep. Okay, you buy your doors pre-made? Yeah, we do. Yep. Okay. Challenger doors. Uh, what kind of doors? Challenger doors. Challenger doors, yeah, okay. But they're big dudes most. Between all sizes and models and everything, we have five different models. We've got the our Oasis model, which is a very base model. Now let's look at them. Yeah, I actually don't even have an Oasis here. Okay. They, they go out as soon as they're done. But you've got them on your web page. Yep, we've got them on the website, uh, tcteardrops.com. Okay. And then we have the original, which is, uh, here's an original behind you. Okay. What is his weigh? Uh, well, yeah, tell this me one about here's it. about yeah. 850 pounds. Uh, huh? 850? About 850 on this one without the toolbox <laughs> stuff on it. You know, base weight. And you start adding on. But this is a pretty typical, just base. What is the price trade. of this? Uh, you know, I couldn't even tell you. I don't even look at the prices. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's hot. You camp, right? I do. Oh, yeah. I'll okay, good. good. We're, we're, on the, we're on the road for about three to four months every year. Okay, so. that's a good sign. Okay, very nice. Nice cabinetry here. Yeah. Yeah, for organization. Standard cabinet right mm -hmm. there. Yep. Okay. Uh, window curtains. Uh, curved roof. Uh, let me get back here. <sighs> Two side windows. Two doors. Are two yep. doors and two side windows it's all standard? standard. Yeah, yeah, that's a really necessity. Yep. Yeah, and a roof vent. Yeah. You really you no know, no roof vents on these. No roof vents on these. No, Why? Because we're so well insulated yeah. that we can be in direct sunlight and we don't get any heat penetration. What we do, <laughs> what most people don't have, is we have door openings here. Yes. We have a screen there, we have a screen here. Yeah. We have a vent here. Oh a vent. That's yeah. just as good. That's it's just a passive, yeah. it's a passive vent. And that's just as put, good. I'll show you, uh, it's actually on that one. We have passive vent fans that go in here, rechargeable. Perfect. I call those moisture control fans. Absolutely. And those take that moisture out. We you do can. Weather. Yep. And then we have another fan, which is a door mounted fan. It's not in this one, but it goes right here. Excellent. And that pulls a lot of airflow. Yeah, you get airflow. I yep. love this because, you know, um, when I commented on the roof vent, a yep. hot air bubble develops up here and yep. it's trapped up there, yep. even in the winter. You know, I mean, it's you'll lose your heat. Here. Exactly. Yep. So, can that be closed? Nope. It's always open. Okay. It's yeah, a well. passive air vent. <laughs> we like to keep it, we camp year round. I mean, even if it's winter time. Yeah, we're, condensation we're, control, critical. Yeah. yeah. Critical. It can be, you know, we're still out here in the snow camping. So, in fact, yeah. winter camping is, is, uh, starting to be a bigger thing even now. I do it, I do yep. it. What heaters do you offer for this? We use, I just use a, we can do Propex and all that stuff. Now they're starting to be available again. But we use just a 12 volt mattress pad heater. Oh, a little battery operated thing? Yep. Yeah, yep. okay. And just a mattress pad heater. Yeah. And we go down to 10 degrees with that. Do you know what brand you use? Uh, I do not, it's an Amazon one. Yeah. Uh, but it's on Amazon, it's just a 12 inch mesh pad. It's just, they're yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, okay, great, awesome. great. So we run torsion axles, and I Tor have everything made. We've been doing torsion for every, since day one. Uh, we use Dexter torsion. Dexter, easy yep. lube? Yep, that's probably the most you know, popular one out. What is this, stabilizer? Stabilizer deck. Yep, okay. Okay, have you considered Timbrin for uh, suspension? I have. But I, I'm not changing. I'm staying no this where I'm at. Okay, um, great. Our off-road axles are also torsion at 3,500 pounds. Yeah. But I've developed that throughout these years. Uh, I worked right with Axis uh, when we used to be Axis. Yes. Before they got about bought out by Dexter. 
um, and we derate those. Our off-road axles ride so smooth. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I don't have is dampening. You know, I mean, yep. I don't see much of a difference between Dexter. I mean, it's about the same amount of travel, maybe a little more, but you're gonna bounce. You know, you gotta yeah. just slow down. Huh? Yep. Still want to air down. <laughs> All right, let's look at the business end here. Yeah. Back there, small galley. This is a five by eight, so we got a pretty small galley in this one. Uh huh. A lot of deep well here for like yep. a uh, for like a cooler. Cooler in here, yep. Yeah, do you have a table surface here? No, no table surface here, but we do have one right here. It just comes out. That just kind of clips back in there like that. Okay. Now we got table okay. surface here. You know, this is yeah. really American ingenuity at work to your drop trailers, right? I mean, it's really, the most clever ideas yep. come out of these things, and they're great. You know, I like this. It's nice and small, very functional. Uh, yeah, take me on a tour here. here. Yeah, you got a battery down there, yep. right? And this battery. one, we'll get an AGM battery in here. AGM. But typically, if it's toolbox up front, then the battery system all goes up in the front. Yeah, so AGM, good for cold weather. Do you yep. offer lithium? We don't offer lithium. Yeah. Uh, but we. We have a lot of customers that are putting them in. Okay. At some point, we'll probably offer a lift. Them. Okay. And you've got the uh, the power uh, yep, uh, distribution guy, distribution paddle. Yep. And yeah. this gentleman here is actually putting his own lithium battery system in mm -hmm. and his own solar and stuff. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you don't equip like a controller. You give him the battery, put in your own controller. Is that it? He's yeah. He's doing all his own mm -hmm. because uh, he's doing a different battery system, solar system. But typically, we're using Zamp. We use Zamp on. 99% of our trailers. Zamp why? Zamp, uh, Zamp solar, connect. Zamp controllers, NOCO chargers, stuff like that. So How many amps are your controllers? Or it varies by taking them? It varies depending on what you're doing, but typically yes. we do a 15 amp uh, controller. Okay. Uh, that'll handle two 90 watt panels. So. AC charger to charge that battery? We don't. No, we don't. We don't. Just mess hook it to the car and charge we, it that we way? Have a solar. Solar only. Solar, solar only. Like uh, my typical trailer, I've got a. I've got 90 watt panel that mm -hmm. runs all of my lighting, charges yes. my phones, uh, does uh, runs my uh, Bitfrigo 65 uh, core fridge, all yeah. that stuff. Okay. Uh, if you needed this to be charged by the car, would you do the wiring like a seven pin hookup? Yeah. So if it's a seven pin, then we're all hooked up for charging Optional? the vehicle. Okay. Yep. Great. That's a great option. Yep. Okay. Very nice. Uh, lighting back here. Yep. Okay. So no, no battery in here yet. Nope. Okay. Unfortunately. And this you have a spring yeah, there? So, yeah, so this is a spring, so they're like super strong. I mean, we'll bend the door if we try to pull down this, but you just push and you push. And oh, clever. There you go. No more gas struts. Yeah, that's so very that's interesting. Yep. Yeah, well, this door's not very heavy, you know, no. right? And our yeah. doors, even our 5 by 10 doors aren't that heavy, so and we've been doing that since day one, so. Very nice. The wood you're using yep. is what? All maple. Comes All out maple? Of, yep. Plywood? Out of, out of the USA, yep. Mm -hmm. Exterior grade or interior? This all exterior. So. Okay, great. That means it's more weatherproof. Yep. These are automotive grade caskets, though, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, what is that? That Catron stuff? Yeah, it's really uh, yeah, impervious to sun. Yeah. Not like the old yeah. days, it would rot. Yeah. You know. And a lot of times, you know, another reason we don't put a vent on top is because we haul stuff. We're, we call our trailers more utilitarian. Yes. Because we're meant to haul. Like yeah. uh, my tandem axle, I haul two motorcycles on the on the front. Is that your rig outside? Uh, the no, motorcycle my, oh, left? that's Courtney's. He's going out. He's got one bike on his. I see it. And then uh, he leaves this weekend. But I've got a tandem axle at the house. So I put two motorcycles on. and uh, But then we have platform on the top. Like this one out here is a platform. Uh-huh. So you couldn't put a vent up there. That's a whole platform rack. So now we can start putting gas cans up there, water tanks, stuff like that. My name is Matt. John. When did you order it? Uh, 18 months ago, maybe. 18 maybe months? Less, well, in demand, huh? It actually came early. It came like three months early. Yeah, we started so, with just basic size and then we're able to customize it once we get closer to the actual build. Yeah, you start off, look how cheap it is, and then you start looking at the list. That's what makes it awesome. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, totally <laughs> customized. This is your trailer. Yeah. Now you've got, so let's just start here. You've got, you got a huge tongue box, right? Yep. Now that makes, what are you going to carry in here? Do you know? I think it'll just be all the outside stuff like the yeah. chairs and the... That kind of stuff. Yeah, well, you know, that makes a lot of sense on this truck because this truck has an enormous tongue weight and you can just load that up. A lot of people, like I have a Subaru Outback, you put a huge tongue box like that on mine, you're going to overload the suspension, you know, yeah. so that's good. And you have a toy area here. What's yeah. going to go in so here? So we mountain bike, so there's going to be two bike racks that go in there to hold two mountain bikes and then kayaks will go on top. Now, Todd was pointing out that you're, uh, can I stand on this, Todd? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're okay? Yeah, go ahead. I don't want to be the first guy to scuff it. <laughs> I'll be careful. Okay, so you've got this huge roof rack up here. Your entire top is a custom roof rack. 
Uh, you make this roof rack, Todd? We do. So you do the metal work? Yep, we do all the machining here, yeah. Okay, and you've got uh, the road shower, so you'll be nice and clean. And uh, this uh, this awning. The Rider Rack bat wing. 270, so it goes all the way around the galley. All the way around, okay, yep. swing out. Do you know what the wind out. rating is on this? Uh, I've been in 50 mile an hour winds with it. And it has it ripped off and no, carried your trailer you have to have away? A stake down. As long as you have a stake down, you use all your eight stakes and lines. Eight stakes. It's not gonna. It's not gonna flip on you. Okay. And uh, you have uh, side walls for it too. Yep. That's an option. Walls, so you can go as an option. Okay. And that probably helps the aerodynamics. You yeah. know. I see a magnetic catch here. These are the bamboo mattresses uh, that we have custom made for us. We have them made just for. So us. it's environmentally sound. Yep. These these curtain rails. Yeah, the curtain rails. Yep. Spot lighting. Got the wardrobe in the back. Very practical uh, door latch. You just, uh, it's just a turn. Yep. And uh, you can get in here, nice shelving. All nice. A uh, lot of nooks and crannies. Very nice. Uh, this is the fan for the vent. Now that's wired in, right? No, nope, that's good. The lithium batteries in it. Lithium it's rechargeable, about, USB rechargeable thing. Yeah, it'll last about 40 hours on a charge. Very good. Okay, and you can and put we, one on each we, slide we build, if you want. We build those in-house. Yeah, very, you can. You build a fan? Yeah, we build everything, yeah. What's your background? Are you an engineer or something? Uh, actually, my son is the one that comes up with all this stuff. Okay, so you could put one of these on each side if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah. And this curtain rod just comes right off. You can just lift it off if you choose to. And uh, you can throw your curtains on there. Sine wave inverter. How big a battery is he getting? He has a uh, 80 amp hour battery. 80 amp hour. Okay, I would use that before breakfast. Okay, that's good. And you have a USB outlet, 12 volt. Now, this USB outlet has a. You have a cutoff switch on this trailer, right? No, I run. I run this battery with this setup right here with no solar on it. Run about two weeks. Yeah. You know, running fans, charging cell phones, all that stuff. Yeah. Just have plenty of power, fan, you know, doing all that stuff. I run a uh, Vitfrigo 65 uh, fridge. Yeah. Um, fans, lighting, everything. I run everything off an 80 amp battery and one uh, 90 watt solar panel, and I continuously run. I never. What size tires did you get? So these are the 235 75 15s. This is our Overland unit. So this is not the. This That's is a 15 inch tire? That is. It's huge. Yeah. So it, that's uh, and these are AT tires. So these are somebody that's doing more mainly like forest roads. Yeah. Uh, getting out further to camp stuff. Not that's necessarily me. doing full that's on me. off road. Um, although this unit will go everywhere you want it to go. Yeah. Uh, but the off road, if you're really gonna get into the off road, you know, we're going to Moab. We're going to you spending t a lot of time. Heavier time, axle. Like Carol and I. Yeah. Then you're going heavier axles, heavier, you know, bigger tires, wheels, all that Got stuff. It. What do you recommend for off road for an axle? Three thousand, I think you said. Thirty-five hundred pound D-rated. Yeah. Okay. Yep. D-rated. And uh, what's the ground clearance on this trailer? This one here sits about sixteen. That's yeah. high. Yeah. What's the ground clearance on your truck? Do you know? I guess 11, 12? About, yeah. Yeah. Well, if the truck can get over it, this will have yeah. no trouble yep. getting over it, right? What are your plans for this thing? Uh, we've just been conventionally camping, so I want to learn to overland and off-road and, you know, get away from campground. Yeah, I got a little uh, AC hookup, so you yep. can plug in this thing. That's where you plug in the We've trailer? Got some shore power, yeah. Yeah, so. okay. Very good option to have. Okay. Back here you've got... Uh, Silverware drawer. This one's just an open one. Otherwise, you, there's two different styles we can put in here. Yeah. Slide out table here. Uh huh. Yeah. Desk. <laughs> nice little your cooler. You'll put a 75 quart cooler in here. Wow. And you got a nice deep drawer here. Uh huh. Maybe got that same table that comes off the back. Okay. So here you have power hookups. Yep. Uh, just a plain old extension cord. You yep. plug in the trailer. There's your power. Does it bring any power into the trail into the yeah, cabin? Yeah, we can pass the cord through into there if you want. Okay. So you have a pass through. Typically, which will get it uh, down there, which will get it in. Okay. But typically we won't use that because we want to camp off grid. So we I'm, I'm off grid 99% yep, of the time. That's us 99. Too. But you know, occasionally it happens, you know. And these are the upgraded uh, galley lights where it's just touch on and off. And oh. then you're, you have all LED lights. Oh, LED here bar? Try it again, Todd. Okay, got it. And then yeah. if you have them on, then you can dim them. And then you can. Continuous also, dimming? Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. This is so. wonderful. Really nice, and you have a whole 
Diamond plate top, diamond plate back. What is your skin made out of? Everything's aluminum. Uh-huh. And then we powder coat 200 different colors. When these joints meet, yep. what are you doing in there? We got triple seals all through there. I'm not gonna let out what, how we do it. We don't use butyl, so okay. we don't want it to dry out and stuff. So. All right. Um, but then you've also got our hinge. So this is our hinge. Yes. So I designed, so it's a regular typical hurricane hinge, but we have redesigned it. Mm -hmm. I sell these hinges all over the world. Uh, it's got a rain gutter on it. So any water coming off the spot, we got this beautiful 270 awning coming yeah. around, covering the galley. Yeah. So any water coming off of the body here, uh -huh. we'll hit the rain gutter and comes off the side. Well, how about servicing this for waterproofness as the years go on? Uh, what do you do? We're pretty maintenance free. Maintenance free? So, yep, all of our all of our seals are, are automotive seals. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to change them every two years. Mm -hmm. we can, those should be a 20 year seal. So this is the five by 10 Overland with the 28 inch extension on the front yeah. of the mountain bikes. I noticed you uh, you installed an AC power outlet here. Yep. Uh, so that's, that's for the, the battery. battery. Your battery, battery is up here. Battery, everything's up in the front with yeah. the charger and everything. Okay, so. okay, good. So instead of being at the galley. What do you think, you ready? We're ready, we're hitting the road. You got a real nice hitch here. Uh, looks like you're getting ready for some, uh, for some what? For some, uh, the, for some steep angles, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, the lock and, that's the lock and roll. Lock Four and roll. Articulating hitch. Uh huh. So 11,000 pound tool weight rating, 1,100 pound tongue weight rating. Uh huh. Okay. So it'll go anywhere you want. Again, I wish you both the best of luck. Yeah. Come on over here. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Have many happy adventures. Are you going camping now? Yes, we're leaving. We're going camping. Where are you going? Northern Wisconsin. Okay. So we do, as you can see, we do, you know, there's never two, two of the same color going at the same time. Yeah. Uh, uh, wow, this thing is a real dazzler. <laughs> this is an original, it gets made moon hub caps. Uh, this is just the original model. What does um, it sell for, roughly? Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, a typical trailer is anywhere from 10,000 up to 18, 20,000. Okay. So okay. that's a typical trailer. Okay, that's so, good. Okay, yeah, good. We had everything in here. We run off our CNC machine. Oh, it's going. Let me have a look at that. Yeah. What's he cutting? Uh, I'm not sure what he's cut today, right this second, but cut all of our little bit all of our What are you cutting? Alright, these are the front panels, uh, electronics that go in uh, boxes at the front of the trailer okay. or in the galley. We'll cut these out and they'll match the size of the trailer. Yeah. So that it keeps up with the theme and it gives our technician a uh, place for the electronics to all attach to it, keep a nice uh, neat appearance. Do you uh, do you program this? I don't myself. We do it most. Yeah. That's not my What does that machine sell for? This one here is about thirty-five thousand. Uh huh. So. Uh, but this does all of our wood, all of our aluminum, all of our roof racks, all that stuff. To produce uh, the wood for a trailer, how long would it take you to do it on that rig? About four minutes. All the wood? All the, well, for one side, so we could do a whole trailer in 15 minutes. And how about the aluminum, that included? Uh, do the aluminum in about another, when we cut aluminum side out, it takes about three minutes to cut aluminum side. Beautiful color. Yeah. And then back in here, we've got the... Uh, back here, we do all of our welding. We do both aluminum welding, steel welding. Um, do you offer vendor. aluminum frames, Todd? We're not doing aluminum frames. Why? We stay steel. Just curious, why? Steel is real. How's that? <laughs> it rusts. <laughs> rusts, too. Yeah. But, um, okay, I mean, is it, is, is, is it real? We, we, haul, we haul a lot of weight. By the time you get to get aluminum, Double the thickness. You're gonna, you're gonna, your costs are gonna be higher. You might have a lighter trailer, but I tell you, what, by the time we're done with these, you got a lifetime frame in. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. good, good, good. And how many square feet is here? Uh, the shop space is 11,000 square feet. Yeah, so. yeah. Including this? Yeah, uh, yep, including back here. And then we've got a, another CNC plasma cutter. Plasma? What's that like laser? Uh, or like no, it's art? Like, it's kind of like art. Yeah. Um, but it cuts out all of our, anything steel, anything to do with our frames and anything we're doing steel is all gonna be cut off of this. I see, okay, so, so that's why you can make that roof rack. 
No, our roof racks are made all aluminum. That's 5052 aluminum. Okay. That's made off of our other CNC machine. Okay, okay. This does only steel parts for like our framing, jigs, all that stuff. Okay. Spare tire okay. mounts. Yeah, what does this go for? Yeah, probably another 25 grand. All torsion. Okay, all Dexter. No overlands, just our standard axles. What's the size of these? These are like the uh, the six or seven inch ones, or? This is a seven inch brake. This is our 10 inch brake with 3,500 pounds. Uh, what are the uh, the seven inches rated for? Yeah, you know, that's a 2,200 pound axle. So. Okay, okay. Yeah. And, uh, that's adequate so, for 2,200 pounds, or should you always overbuild? No, that's adequate for the 2,200 pounds on this yeah. one, on these cases. Yeah, that's what most of the trailers run to. And the brakes um, are adequate? Yeah, and then when you get to the off-road, we're going to carry, we, typical off-road trailer loaded is about 2,000 to 2,500 pounds loaded. Yeah. And that's where the 10 inch is really nice to have. Yeah, okay, okay, good, good, nice stuff. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. We do all our own cutting, so everything comes in as raw steel, uh -huh. raw aluminum to us, and then we cut everything here, ship it out to get powder coated. Yeah, hey, uh, how has the pandemic affected you? You know, parts. Parts have been hard to... Getting get. parts. Getting uh, it's, we uh, thought it was getting better and it's getting worse. The biggest thing that's affected us is that we're booked out. Um, Let me get 18, a trailer behind you, Todd. Yeah. We're booked out for like 18 months. Yeah. So the problem with that is, really, we, we're never late on the customer. We, yeah. We've been able to get everything in. Uh -huh. The biggest thing that has impacted us is this price increases. You know, wood's up 100%, steel and aluminum are up 30 to 40%, which that includes your wheels and your axles and your sides yeah. and framing. So that customer that ordered a trailer 18 months ago is going to pay the price. He's paying that price from 18 months ago. So we are not charging him extra for the today's prices. So we had to get some price increases, but not too bad. Yeah. Uh, we're just getting into them finally. Uh, so we'll survive through that, no problem. Okay, your business is going along before the pandemic. Did it uh, did it take a uh, bump up? Like pandemic? everybody, I mean, at the start of the pandemic, it took you know you took a little slight little hit. Yeah. But then uh, after about a month or two, uh, then it just off the scale. Then it's going up. So we sold our building. We uh, well, actually we have another building uh, still. That shop, uh, it's whole space about 5,000 square feet. Uh -huh. We bought this place, which is 13,000 square feet total, moving in that. We've doubled our capacity in, uh, in employees uh, and trailers and everything. What about uh, interest rates bumping up? That doesn't affect us. Doesn't it people pay us. cash? A lot of our customers are paying cash. So. What percentage pays cash? I say 80%. This is a good example over on this one where we we do all of our own programming. We do all of our own AutoCAD, everything right in house. Uh -huh. So when we do our extensions, here's a good example of an extension. Tongue and, uh, yeah. what do they call that? Tongue and groove? Uh, not tongue and groove, it's just a nice interlock that we do. And it comes around, it actually interlocks so it can't come apart. Yeah. And that's all glued, uh -huh. put back together. So that holds our extension. So now that takes us out to 10 feet. It's yeah. It's a 10 foot trailer. Now all this wiring. Yep. Uh, in the event of a problem, somebody could get and re-snake something else through here they again? Could. They yeah. could if they want, but we're running continuous wires all the way through. Yeah. So we shouldn't have ever had a problem. Wiring failures? Are they, uh... I've never had a wire failure. Okay, ever, great news. So, good, good, yeah. good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, so we've got all this. Uh, anything on the construction I need yeah. to know? These are the smaller ones. This is four foot wide. Yeah, 60, really nice. 65,000 diamond plate on the top, so you know, nice and thick. Uh-huh. Go through hailstorm, stuff like that. How are these uh, joined together, these walls? Uh, screws? Walls, walls are glued and screwed, and they're actually gone through. We actually uh, router it out, so it slide, the wall slides in. Like a tongue and groove thing? Yeah, kind of like a tongue and groove, and the same with the shelving up in the front. Uh-huh, very so, solid? Yep. Okay, and uh, what's the smallest car towing your smallest trailer on the road now? Prius. A Prius? Yep. A Prius is towing what, yep. one of these guys, the small yep. one? Yep. Uh, and uh, interesting. Good. Yeah, and a custom build that lightened it up for them and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it makes sense. They're a hybrid, so they have gas and electric, yep. and they can just keep going 50 yep. miles to the gallon. Yep. Yeah. Here's another one. Is it the Chevy, uh, the small, small Chevy, uh, not the Volt, the Metro or something? Yeah. It's a really tiny car. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, well, you got hope yeah. for everybody, you yeah. know. And uh, no motorcycles, though. I went, we went, yeah. uh, I'm not building for motorcycles. We got, I got one in here that's actually finished. So. Yeah. Another good one. It's locked up, but I can't get it. This is uh, actually Fry's on the side, if you haven't heard of him. He's another YouTuber. Who is he? Fry's on the side. All right, well, we'll check YouTuber. him out. This is our trailer. Um, he's a YouTuber also, just like you. And, and uh, 
Hilarious if you want more you information. How, you can see how we get into custom stuff right here. We, uh -huh. we do all that. So. You did all this? Oh, yeah, it's all done right now. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow, it's almost like routered out. Yeah. yeah. So this is our off road trailer right here. Yeah. He's sitting on 35 inch tires. So. Wow, 35 inch tires. What is he pulling with? A Jeep. Okay. JKU. Yeah. Rhino Batwing, Rhino Rack yep. Batwing. Yep. Okay. And what is it, what's on this side? This is the uh, front runner on him. This is the one that comes straight out. Uh -huh. And two then legs, you just put yeah. the two poles, and then we have a room that goes underneath it. Trailer, and then we cut the door out to the trailer, and it snaps on here all the way around. So then it's like a piece of the trailer. So now you don't, it's bug free, stuff like that. Nice. Yeah, they seem to uh, to hold up uh, really well. And your propane tank is a. Uh... Yeah, so that's an older one. I'll show you one of our new. We, we do everything in house now because that's another thing that, you know, it's just hard to get in, in uh, you know, the pandemic. Um, so what we ended up doing as a pandemic hit, and we couldn't get items. Then we just start manufacturing our own. So Tanks? We, we manufacture oh. our own water holders. Alex, um, when you're doing this, um, I have no idea how AutoCAD works, even though I have a heavy IT background. Um, you uh, you fit everything together via the software, so when you cut it out, it will just go right together? Typically, uh, yes. Yeah, okay. Like I drew it flat uh -huh. in CAD, which is what I do for a lot of my stuff, but I mm -hmm. can check the fit. I just 3D modeled it. Uh huh. So I can open a drawing up in here and so it's all, all this snaps together. So I'm gonna okay. make sure the entire thing fits before I cut it now. So does it, you know, often go together perfectly the first time you put it together? No. <laughs> Sometimes? <laughs> Once in a while? <laughs> uh, every now and then when I'm lucky, it works right away the first time. Yeah. Sometimes it takes two or three to get it perfect, perfect. Yeah. But, but really what you're after is to get a repeatable process. Once you've got it right, it's right from then on out? Pretty much. I would say the first few are throwaways. They're just not perfect. Oh, okay. They're still usable, mm -hmm. but I will just correct them so they're so the remaining ones that get caught out from there on are good. Okay. So we can put you know jerry cans, water tanks up in there. That's made out of uh, steel. All aluminum. Aluminum. Okay. Yeah, everything's aluminum, and I'll show you one of my propane tanks too. We manufacture more stuff. Our roof racks, our water tanks, our propane tanks. We manufacture in house, so we can control quantities. We can control you know the, you know. You're not, waiting for, a ship from not China. waiting for a shipment from China that's yeah. not getting here. So. Uh, this is a nice bicycle here. This is kind of what? A, uh, it's almost, this looks like it's sort of yeah, off-road. Gra gravel bike. Yeah. Gravel bike, yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, most everybody here rides. Oh, me too. So. That's, that's yeah. the best way to travel. Yep, yeah, me too. So. Yeah, and then like our propane tanks now are... Uh, like here's a good example of a propane holder. We make okay. these in-house. This just gets bolted to the side now. Mm -hmm. So, and then when the tank comes in, it sits in here and then you can actually put locks underneath. Right. You mount your tires on the walls? Yep, we mount off the sides. So. Is that preferable? Yes, it is because a lot of people are like you, or you're, you said, I think you said you're driving a Subaru Outback. So I can adjust tongue weight by depending on where I'm gonna put stuff yeah. on the vehicle that you're driving. So I really pay attention to what you're driving or what your future car is gonna be. Yeah. And then we can adjust the tongue weight to that. So we'll put, yeah, just go to tcteardrops.com and, and you can see all our specs. Do you have like a pricing menu on there? You can yep, kind of, you, you know. Yeah, all your pricing, you're gonna see, we have all of our pricing right there. You can build that trailer, you can see the pricing go up and down and you can uh -huh. kind of regulate it just how you want. <laughs> Uh, we don't hide anything, so it's all right there. Good, good. Open, yep. you know, an open. And uh, at what point should a customer call you? I mean, they shouldn't call you and ask you what your ground clearance is, right? They should, you know, they it's should... all it's all on the on there. But yeah, we we talk to the customers. Pretty much every customer that ordered a trailer, then we we get into more depth with them. We talk and stuff like that. So excellent, good. Yeah, when I called here, I got humans. I love yeah. that. You know, make, make sure that we're they're getting the right unit. A unit that's not too big for them mm -hmm. or not too small for them. You know, Good, you can guide them through all that. Yeah, we got it through everything. Thank you so much for your tour. This is really a lot of fun. Yeah, it was really great to meet it. you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. All right, so you are TC Teardrops. What's your website? TCTeardrops.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're I'm... in Wasa, Wisconsin. And uh, phone number? Seven, what? Uh, I can't even tell you. I can tell you my cell number. <laughs> okay, give us I, I have it on my cell phone. <laughs> okay, email? Uh, Info at tcteardrops.com. Yep, we're on Facebook. We have a TC Teardrops LLC page mm -hmm. uh, just for you know people looking at trailers. Yeah. And then we actually have an owner's page that we only allow owners of our teardrops to be in. So once the customer yeah. came in, like the 
They just came in and picked up the a, even just the cool stuff that people do. Yeah, I mean, the we, customization. We're, we're giving you base stuff, and then, and then they do a lot of custom stuff. And well, that's it with these teardrop yeah. trailers. You get the trailer and you make it yep. yours. And, and the smallest change can make such oh, a difference. You know, so it's cool. just so great. You know, it's been great to talk to you, and thank it's you very much for this tour. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.